Hello and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. You all didn't think you would see me so fast, but I found slash learned a couple of things. So I decided to make this little featurette. Uh, it's not a real episode, even though, or full episode, I should say, even though I'm calling it episode four of this series. It's really just a, a little little featurette that I'm tacking onto the series to show a couple of extra things. So I'm here in my habitat pod uh, up at the um, super alloy cave. And I just want to uh, come in here and return to this particular wall. Uh, the one that we found many episodes ago when we first came into this cave and said, that looks like a door. Apparently it might actually be. Um, they have added, they added four new achievements uh, to the game with this update. And one of them is called a door question mark. And you get it by coming here and looking at this door. So I'm going to operate under the very safe assumption that this is in fact a future uh, something um, that it was clearly carved. We can tell it was clearly carved by some uh, n unnatural process. So I'll be interested to see if, oh, if when that opens and what it yields, what it becomes. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do is uh, share that I learned that the um, the third new area, the balcony, wasn't one of the areas that I had already been to. Uh, well, on camera. I had come to this area when I was coming back and forth from the, uh, from the, from the crater early on, uh, and at the end of, between the first and second episodes. As I was coming back from the crater, I came through the Iridium Cave, and I saw this vine. And I assumed that it had been there since the vines grew in the Great, uh, the great Rift, uh, but apparently it wasn't here. Apparently, it is new. It leads up to this area here, which contained a handful of zeolite uh, arches, um, of which now I don't see any. Or were they the zeolite just laying on the ground? They might have just been laying on the ground now that I'm here again. Uh, and I came up here and I picked them up and I moved on with my life because I assumed that this was uh, here and I just didn't know it was here. Uh, but that's not all that's here. If I could find it again. Ah, here it is. It leads up this way to an overlook down onto the uh, the plain here where the where the big lake is, where I built my base, where most people build their bases. And this is the balcony, the third biome that was uh, stated in the uh, in the updates uh, notes. So. In fact, I had not visited all three new biomes. Arches was that entire area where we have our, our exploration pod at, and we have uh, now explored all three, or shown all three new uh, biomes. So there wasn't much at the uh, balcony. It was mostly just there to, um, to be kind of an interesting little area off of the uh, Ignium Cave that I'm assuming that vine doesn't grow until the other ones grew but um, that gives you just a little bit more to your game than you were perhaps um, expecting. And as someone asked me about the, uh, the effigies here, um, there are now four of each effigy uh, because we have the uh, 12, rather, no, there's five rockets, there's four of the other two. So we have 13 effigies now because we found the one on the shelf in Iklis's, uh fortress there. And then we found the other one in uh, in the in the final golden chest. So that's all I wanted to share in this episode, and I hope this was informative for you. Uh, we'll be back again with more Planet Crafter uh, after the next update. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Bye for now.